Howdy. Well, it's uh, Ash Wednesday, and I'm here on the parking lot doing the uh, drive through ashes. And this is the best weather I've ever had here in Junction doing this. Uh, there's no snow on the ground, it's not raining, wind's not blowing hard, the temperature's fairly decent. Had a woman come up and uh, she had her two small children with her. One was about two years old, one was less than a year. And uh, not a member of the church, I, I did a uh, imposition of ashes on the woman, then I went around to the two-year-old and it was clear that she was a little confused and she didn't quite understand what was going on, but uh, I gave her the ashes and she was quiet. Went around to uh, her little brother on the other side of the truck and of course the two-year-old was checking it out as I was doing the ashes and I said, you know, God loves you very much. And, uh, you know, I understand that there's an argument to be made that children don't understand. It's uh, a bit confusing to them. But you know, if we waited until we fully understood what was happening and where God was present and what was going on, we'd, we'd never have communion. We'd never do a baptism. There's a reason we call these the holy mysteries. But we do them anyway. And we do them to show our love and devotion to God. And we know that God is present in these rituals and in these uh, ceremonies, in these rites. It doesn't matter whether we understand or not. God is there. It brings us closer to him. <coughs> so bring your children to church. Bring them up to the communion table. Have them baptized. And whether they get it or not, let them know that God loves them. That they are his precious child. And God blesses them. Thanks for listening. Adios.